Welcome to Noah Yachting's check-in video for yacht Carninvin. Carninvin is a 2014 Salona 38. Let's get you on board and show you how she works. To start the engines, first make sure that you are in neutral. You can double check this by pulling the lever out and moving forward. This means you are in neutral when the lever is pulled out. When you bring it back, it will click. You are in neutral. Hold down power to turn on and off the contact. When the alarm sounds, hold start. Once the engine fires, make sure that there is water flowing out of the exhaust to show that the engine cooling system is working properly. To excite the revs in neutral, pull the, pull the lever out and shift forward. Make sure to bring the gear lever back to neutral and have it pop in before you engage in gear. To turn the engine off, hold down stop and then turn off the power to the panel. To operate the autopilot, click this button, auto, and it will hold your heading for you. To increase your bearing to starboard, click plus one or plus ten and it will change your course to starboard. To go to port, hit minus 10. And to how manually press standby. The cockpit shower is located on the starboard quarter. <coughs> Pull the shower out like this. To turn the water on, push down laterally on this switch. To change the mix, rotate anti-clockwise or clockwise to go for hot and cold. Somewhere in the middle will be warm water. Turn this off before you put it away so you are not wasting water. The shore power cable plugs in here on the aft quarter. Your extra equipment is located in the port and starboard lazarettes or lockers. On the port side you have the spare fuel for the dinghy, you have the dinghy pump, funnel, oars for the dinghy, emergency tiller and spear, anchor and line. You also have your manual bilge pump handle. On the starboard side you have your spear sheet lines, spear dock lines, 50 metre shoreline, bosun's chair and spear dock line. The emergency tiller plugs into the tiller post here underneath the cockpit floor. You must undo this from the outside and put the post through. To operate the manual bilge pump, pull this flap down, take the handle, plug in here, and pump to remove the water. Your cooking gas bottle is located in this cupboard on the port side of the yacht. Turn on your gas by turning anti-clockwise and turn it off by turning clockwise. Your spare bottle will be kept in here. If you need to change the bottle, hold the unit at the top and unscrew the bottle. Replace the new bottle. Get secure properly. When anchoring, open the locker at the bow. You have two controls here for raising and lowering the anchor. This one here is for down, this one here is for up. You also have controls at the helm, which you can use to do this with. If you are using just the helm controls, make sure you have someone watching the anchor at the bow. To lower the anchor, push down. You have to run out a little bit of a chain and then help the anchor across the bow. Make sure you do this first part slowly so the anchor does not swing and hit the bow of the boat. The anchor is marked with different colours for the length of chain that you have out. Green is 10 metres. When raising the anchor, push on the up button. If you feel the windlass start to strain, wait for the boat to get closer to the anchor. 
When raising the anchor, the last part wants to come up very slowly so that the anchor does not swing and damage the boat. The main control panel controlling all of your house system is located here by the chart table. These buttons control all of the lights throughout the yacht, including the deck light. Here, the navigation instruments to turn on the GPS, the VHF radio. On this side, the freshwater pump and shower pump, and the forward bilge pump and aft bilge pump. These are both automatic and will start when needed. Refrigerator, the anchor windlass, and then the 12 volt DC outlets. The autopilot is controlled here, and you can manually turn on your forward bilge pump here. Here you can check your water tank levels. At the moment it is checking the aft. Press here to check the forward. This shows the level of your fuel. And here is the level of your 12 volt house system. When you turn on your navigation lights or lights around the boat, they will show up here on this chart. Your VHF radio is mounted here above the chart table. Channel 16 is the international distress and calling channel. Artsy marinas and other ports will be monitoring channel 17 throughout Croatia. Adjust the sensitivity of your radio here and the volume here. To turn off, rotate the power volume switch all the way anti-clockwise. Your Raymarine GPS is located here at the nav station. You can use your different options here or press chart for the navigation chart. This is a touchscreen system that allows you to pan and select detail on the chart. To zoom, use the wheel. You also have two more displays that are located above the companionway in the cockpit. Inside your chart table, you have the Adriatic Sea Pilot and the light lists, cruising guides for the area. You also have the manuals for the yacht and the charts for the area you're cruising in. You have plotting equipment, a flashlight, keys for the yacht, hand bearing compass, spare shackles, and dividers for navigating with. Inside this small cupboard here, you have the spears for the engine, belts and impeller, and inside this cupboard here are the main breakers for the shore power system. Here you have controls for your battery charger, your water heater, the outlets on the boat, the engine and domestic house battery switches are located under the chart table here. In this position, they are on, and in this position, they are off. Your safety equipment is located under the chart table seat here. Here you have your thermal bags and thermal blankets, sea anchor drogue, fire extinguisher, axe for emergencies. You have a full set of harnesses and tethers, the rest are located under the seat still, and your day shapes for anchoring and motor sailing. You also have your first aid kit, which is kept up here. Your life jackets will be laid out for you at the start of your charter for you to inspect. The rest of your safety equipment is located in this cupboard here. You have a toolkit, your flares, binoculars, and fog horn. There's also another flashlight in here. You have an inverter in this cupboard also for converting your 12 volt to 240 volt power. Carninvin has one fridge located here in the galley. This is a chest fridge opening from the top only and has the control in under here that you can adjust the temperature. Carninvin has a second fridge located inside this cupboard here. The cooking gas shutoff valve is located in this cabin inside this locker. In this position it is off, in this position in line with the pipe it is on. Turn this off when you are finished cooking and then turn the gas off at the bottle. To change over your water tanks the valve is located just forward of the galley underneath the seat. Turn this valve here to change to your other tank. Cunningvin has two water tanks. To refill the forward tank the fill point is on the bow next to the anchor locker. To fill the rear tank with water, the fill point is on the aft port side, right on the transom of the yacht. To fill the diesel tanks, the fill point is on the aft starboard side, right on the transom of the yacht. 
Cunningham has one bathroom with a manual pump toilet and an electric shower pump drain. The Blackwater holding tank valve is located here in this cupboard. In this position, the valve is open. Turn 90 degrees to close the valve. Here it is closed. The electric shower pump drain is operated by this switch here. To operate the manual pump toilet, you have two positions in which this can be in. Over this way, with this symbol, it will pump water only out. When it is switched this way, it will pump water in and out at the same time. When it is to this setting, the bowl will naturally fill to a certain level. When you are finished going to the toilet, remove the waste by putting the switch in this position, then switch it to flush, and pump 15 to 20 times to remove all the waste from the bowl and pump it up and down into the holding tank. When you are finished, swip this over to the other side and remove the excess water. Push the handle down and turn to lock into position. Remember, nothing that doesn't come out of your body goes down the toilet. Put the toilet paper and other sanitary products in the bins provided inside the locker. Your technician will check your sales before your charter to make sure they are in good working order. If you would like to check these yourself, raise the sales with at least two people and check for any defects. If there are any defects or concerns, take photos with your mobile phone and report these to the office. Thanks for watching this video check-in for the 2014 Salona 38 Carnarvon. I hope you have an amazing week. See you when you get back.